Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. They are officially on the clock and they're ready to fight on April 20th, 2024. This is going to be a monumental fight. I'm loving it. I'm excited for it. It's got a lot of anticipation. And man, we've been looking forward to a good fight in this weight class for some time. Everybody got hype about the Ryan Garcia and the Javante Tank Davis um, because Garcia, he has a lot of hype. I'll, I'll fill you in on a backstory about him, actually. Garcia, he's a guy who pretty much still trying to establish himself in this elite weight class that he's in he, he's a guy still trying to let people know hey i'm here i'm gonna be i'm gonna be tough in the next few years i'm gonna be that guy like he, he's trying to establish solid ground in a weight class that's already elite so 24 wins i'm um, 20 by ko so he, he's been doing his thing and a one loss is against one of the best fighters in this class javante tank davis so i mean he has a pretty damn good resume I'm um, truth be told, but the guy he's going against, man, an absolute animal. Devin Haney, he's the champion. He's already established in this league and already established in this weight class. It's nothing else you need to say about him. 31 and 0, undefeated, 15 KOs, and currently holds three championships right now. So I'm going to tell you who's going to win. I'm going to throw my pick out here. Devin Haney is going to win this fight. And there's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's simply because Haney is more skilled. He's more developed. He has a better IQ. He has more experience. And, and the way I'm seeing this fight happen when it comes down on April 20th is that Javante or uh, uh, Ryan Garcia is just going to fight himself out. He's going to tire himself out. He's going to go in trying to get a kill shot, trying to be speedy speed like he usually shows in his videos, try and tat him up and, and just put the paws on him real quick. And Haney's not going to get phased by any of it. Haney is going to simply allow him to throw all them little soft punches, counter when he wants to, and bam, sneak him. Oh, all right. He's going to tear him down little by little. And then by the time you get to the sixth round, seventh round, I think that's when Haney's going to realize, damn, this dude is exhausted. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. Let me fight him. Let me knock him out in the fight real quick. And that, that's what I'm predicting this fight doing. I, I don't know if it'll be eight rounds exact, but... I'm definitely saying Devin Haney is about to piece this dude up because Garcia is good, bro, but he's just not that good to hang with that the elite of this weight class, meaning guys like Javante Tank Davis, guys like Shakur Stevenson, guys like Devin Haney, guys like uh, um, uh, uh, Frank Martin, another elite talent in this weight class. There's different levels to it, and, and yes, Garcia is young, but he's just not quite there. There's a lot of different things he's got to learn. Yeah, he's got to fight these good guys still and then get some some experience under his belt so he can be able to hang with them and i, and I think he's doing a great job at that but i mean it, you know it's it's very early on in his career because he is a young i think he's still under 25 he's still a super young dude but it's just like man taking these big fights is dope and i love that for him because he's clearly not scared to fight anybody but um, there's going to be a lot more than speed that he needs in order to become a champion in this weight class and to, to take down great fighters in this weight class. And, you know, in a minute, it's going to start looking ugly because it's like, all right, if I take a fight with Garcia, it's an easy win. <laughs> and like he talks a lot of trash and, and it looks all good on social media, media. Yeah, that stuff look real cute on social media when he's punching a bag and, and punching a speed bag and, and talking trash, looking at the cameras he's punched. All that stuff looks good. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right. It looks good for Showtime boxing. But when you keep losing these big fights that you're getting and people begin to question, how the hell is he getting these big fights, big fight after big fight, fighting the top dogs, the best of the best in this weight class? When people start noticing that your name is popping up in these fights and you're losing time after time, oh yeah, that's going that's that's what's gonna hurt your legacy. <laughs> I, I don't think it's that you fought these guys, which is dope, but it'll be that you keep fighting these big fights and you're losing these big fights. That's gonna be the thing that hurts them. But aside from that, I would love to see a couple other things happen um, in this in this uh, weight class. I would love to see a Ryan Garcia uh, fight, fight some other people, like t t just to get some more experience, obviously, but uh, more so Devin Haley. Haley. I wanna see Haney fight uh, Shakur Stevenson. I wanna see a Ryan Garcia in the Stevenson. I wanna see a uh, Haney and a Ryan, or uh, in a Tank Davis. I wanna see that. like. I think it's a lot of different potential fights that have been talked about for some time and yet they haven't happened. So I do give kudos for these two just for bringing this fight along and actually making sure it did happen because 
you know, it, it, people talk so much trash, but they don't ever get the contracts worked out. They don't get it done. So, but one thing here is it is confirmed. Javante Davis, he is going to be in another fight. He's going to be fighting Frank Martin, and they have officially agreed to fight for Tank's WBA lightweight world title championship belt late spring, early summer. And the date has not been released yet, but man, I'm loving it because it's going to be a tough fight. You know, immediately when I first seen that this was agreed to, I'm like, oh, Tank going to win. You know, Javante Davis, he's definitely going to win. But started thinking, like, Hey, man, Frank Martin is kind of big, bro. Like, he's got a lot of reach over Javante Davis. He's got the size over Javante Davis. He looks like he's a heavier dude. He looks like he has more muscle mass than Javante Davis. So those kind of things kind of had me thinking a little bit because I'm like, hey, right off the bat, you know, Tank got the star power. Javante Davis got the star power, but, hey, Frank Martin to knock your ass out. 